Hmm, you saying hello? You saying hello? What's happening, guys? I hope we're all good out there. So we're just going to give you a wee update just before we get into this vlog because we have been pretty quiet the last few months and we've not done much travelling. So basically, I think our last video we done, we were in Warsaw. Where are you purring? Hmm? The last video we done, we were in Warsaw and we travelled through Latvia, Lithuania and then we got into Estonia and we were staying there at the weekend just before we were about to head into Finland and we were staying in the capital, Tallinn. Um, we were staying in a hotel and on the Friday my van got broken into, stuff was stolen out of it and the police took it away and put it in the compound for the weekend. The problem with that was the compound didn't open till Monday so it was completely closed, could not get the van. Um, but then on the Saturday night we were chilling in the hotel and I got a phone call from my mum and she was phoning to say that my wee granny from back home had suddenly passed away so it was quite a shit time for us um, it was a bit of a nightmare getting home we went to the police station that night again and I tried to explain to them everything that happened and um, they said there's no way you can get the van because there's nobody working in the compound part which is fair enough um, and it's better of them leaving the van out on the street if they couldn't get in touch with me so I mean it's fair enough how it all happened but yeah we ended up having to wait till Monday and when I got the van back, I didn't want to put nail in it because there was little bits of glass everywhere. Like shards of glass all in our bed, all over the floor. Just aye, tiny wee bits and it would have took hours to clean. So I ended up renting a car and we'd put the van in storage. We ended up renting a car and we drove to Austria. I left Nala with a friend and then I got to fly home to be with my family. Got the funeral out the road, then I went back and got Nala again, and it was kind of close to Christmas time, so went back home, and aye, we've just basically had a quiet Christmas at home with the family guys, and aye, it's been quite a shite time, just not having my gran there, but hey-ho, that's life, and we're ready now to start thinking about travelling again, aren't we? Yes, we are. But anyway, guys, we've got seven vlogs made up, so we'll get these out, and then we'll give you an update on our next set of plans. So I hope you enjoy them and thank you for watching. What's happening guys? I hope we're all good out there. So welcome back to another episode. We are currently just outside Warsaw. We found this beautiful place to camp. I'll just show you. And um, got a nice wee fresh water stream here. There's a van up there. Nala, you won't be able to see her with this camera, but she's uh, up there in that long grass. But um, aye, this is just absolutely perfect. We camped here last night and six o'clock this morning we were actually woken up by cows walking by the side of the van, which was quite nice. And our plan is we're going to head over to the eastern border of Poland, right next to Belarus. We're not going to go into Belarus. And we're going to go to a national park, hopefully to see some wild bison. So that is the plans today. We've got about a two hour drive. Hey! Oh, this is beautiful. See, once you're in the water, it's just so refreshing. But we've got about a two hour drive. There's something over there because I can hear the reeds moving. As long as it's not a crocodile. Bye, we've got about a two hour drive until they're there. I've got a bit of a sore throat today. When I was staying in that hotel the other day, I had the AC on and I stupidly slept with it on all night. And whenever I do that, I always get a sore throat in the morning. They must just be putting all the bad air out of the machine into your lungs. There's something right there. Oops, a daisy. It's a wee spuggy. Sorry, we want. Anyway, guys, as I was saying, it's a two hour drive until we're there. So let's go out, let's get packed up, let's do a wee litter pick, let's find Nala, um, and let's start driving. So let's go. What are you doing away over here? Eh? Yes. Rawr, wow. Come on in, back to the car. 
Germany. Germany. Look how she's just chasing the grasshoppers. She loves places like this. Never seen one that colour before. Green, how cool is that? Mr. Frog. This is what Nala's chasing about in the grass. She's over there. A mixture between frogs and grasshoppers. Right, so we'll just leave our play in there and we'll go and finish off our litter pick. Oh, yeah. There we go, all done. It wasn't that bad, but just remember if you're out and about, take your shite home because places like this will end up just getting closed off to the public and you won't be able to enjoy camping outside anymore. Which I don't blame the people who own the land if people just keep coming and trashing it. Anyway, that's that clean. I'm going to get Nala, get her in the van, get the van ready. Look at this. Loads of wasps are just attracted to my van at the minute. I'm not too happy about that. Got one. Two, three, four, five. Nah, we can't even be having that like. So yeah, gonna get Nessie set up and then we're gonna head. So let's go. Right, that is us all packed up, ready to go. Um now it is up sleeping already. She's obviously tired out. It's quite a warm day as well, so I'll open that window for her just to get a wee bit fresh air. There's loads of wasps in that window just now anyway, so I'll open up when we start moving. Anyway, that's us ready to go, so we're gonna put the drone up and Get some drone footage. So let's go. There we go guys, we've got one hour left of the journey and um, we're starting to see a lot more of a police presence on the roads because obviously the border between Poland and Belarus there's a lot of tensions at the minute so Poland are sending a lot more police and a lot more soldiers there so um, I've seen a lot more police so far um, not seen any of the army yet but um, we'll see what that's like when we get closer guys that's us here now in the center of that sign there's a bison so all we need to do now is find herself one doesn't look like she's gonna be much of a help but anyway let's continue Go, so we just arrived here and we went in to speak to the boy about seeing bison we ended up getting a private tour um, which is at five o'clock tomorrow morning so I'm gonna go and find a hotel just now and go back and get Nala comfy and the private tour takes about five hours and you take your camera take binoculars and you've got an English speaking tour guide so I'm really looking forward to that so that's where we're going now the Bialowiza forest so really looking forward to that 
But um, just now I am looking for a hotel nearby just so I can take Nala, get her comfy in it. Because obviously I'm not going to take her around a five hour hike. Because she will be knackered and we might see bison, wolves. And that's the last thing I need running with a cat on my shoulder. So, aye, we're going to go and find a hotel and check into that. Let's go. So this is the hotel we've checked into here, guys. I have not yet seen the room, just thought I'd come back and get Nala, but it's taken us a while to get to the hotel door. Got to sniff every branch possible. And this is right next door to the place where I'm meeting uh, the lady for a private tour. So that's good for me. Please smell. Ra. Ra. Should we go and see the room? There's three big wooden bison as well at the front. That's not what we want to see, we want to see a real bison. Hello. Hello. This way. No, no, she's pretty good. So what took you out in the color? Why not the stage? She's got a puffed up tail because her dog just came in. Come on. Right, we are in room number 106, which is along here. Oh, dark. Go on then. Hey, hey, perfect. Oh, she's a perfect girl. Yes. Big jump. Come here, let me take that off. Here we go. Right, this is absolutely perfect. We have our bed. Let's have a look at our view. Lovely. See what I was saying about the police. We've got a big van there and we've got more vans around the front as well. With a swimming pool, our own wee spa. Lovely. A wee kettle, <coughs> lovely, a cupboard, and most importantly, toilet, shower, and a sink. Well guys, absolutely perfect. I'm going to go down and get all the stuff in, make sure all my batteries are charged for tomorrow, and then I get an early night. So, unless something important happens, I will probably see you in the morning. So, ciao for now. Ah, good morning guys. Well, looks like it's a beautiful day. There's going to be blue skies. Now let's just have our breakfast and that's her getting comfy. Oh, yes. I'm going to leave Nala here because obviously I'm going on a five hour hike um, in search for bison. So ah, that's maybe a wee bit too long for her. But it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. It's now 10 to 5 in the morning. I am meeting the tour guide at 5 o'clock, just basically around the corner. My bag is all packed. Got my camera. Got everything I need in here. So, whoop, 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 whoop. So, hi, let's go. There we go. So, that's where Ness is parked there. That's the hotel. Now, I'm literally just walking around here in Devis Park and that's where I'm meeting the tour guide Hello How are you? I'm fine, so I will be your guide for today Perfect My name is Martina Perfect, hello there uh, And in Bialobieża National Park as I said uh, the park that you uh, see in front of your eyes was uh, protected forever since. So it was uh, not cutted, it was not. It's uh, just been let to grow. This strict part, not these uh, fields, but the strict part that you uh, could see uh, behind uh, those trees. Yep. So, here we are. Yeah. And...
basically uh, where we are. So we are here. Here we've got the Bielovieja as a town. This white dot. Yeah. And uh, we will focus today on this part of the place where the process is protected. Like this, depth man's uh, man's uh, fingers, because it looks like uh, uh, like a fingers of a deaf man. Yeah, yeah. In a minute. Koala bear. The smaller birds and squirrels, uh, and also the mouses, the forest one also. Uh, uh, they are. Um, uh, they really try to reach people. They are uh, uh, really interested in people. He's caring for his babies, for his eggs, actually. Uh, he's uh, mounting uh, the ground. He's uh, moving the layers of the ground and kind of steering it, make it for more fertile. So uh, those, those beetles uh, are really needed uh, in a uh, forest. And also take a closer look at these slime, mm, slime uh, mushrooms. They are something between uh, the kingdom of uh, mushrooms and the animals because uh, the colonies can move. Okay. And that one just looks like a sponge. Yeah, and those are no the normal uh, normal mushrooms. So thank you for uh, spending time uh, uh, in the forest. Hopefully that you will see the Lovira forest again, uh, especially beautiful in the uh, spring time and have a further nice journey. No, thank you very much for that. And, <laughs> aye, perfect, and hopefully I spot a bison. Yeah, and hopefully you will see them. Excellent, yeah, just now stay safe. Well, there we go guys, tour done. Did not see any bison, which I'm a tiny wee bit guided about, but she's showed me two places on the map, and you'll see them standing in open fields in the morning. Um, but going through the woods there, she knows her stuff. She was just basically showing us all the mushrooms. She just knew every single type of mushroom. She knew everything about the trees, all the wee beetles. Uh, she knew her stuff, so it was actually really interesting just going about with her. But anyway, it's now 10 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to head back, get Nala, aye, and make a game plan. So let's go. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hey, you just wake up. Hello. Hello. What do you want to do today? What do you want to do today?